Yo guys, what's going on? Mars Cup HD and welcome to an unedited review part of the against Double Match. Now, as I said, this channel is going to turn into a pros review since we're in a conference. And if you don't know who pros are, basically, I'm going to tell you now who they are. Basically, it's Hartlepool United. We're in the North East and we're in the conference. Now, we're in the conference just chilling there and we thought, right, we're the favourites basically to get out the league straight away. Got a game against Dover, who are about 600 miles away. Now, let's tell you something first before I go on to anything. Dover players, they didn't stop over overnight, they didn't get a coach there, they got on a train from Dover at daft o'clock in the morning to play Hartlepool. Same with the fans, they got on with the fans and everything. Now the thing is, for Hartlepool to best a team like that, you've got Dover who are absolutely up for it, and Poles are up for it, but the players weren't. Supporters were, manager wise, players weren't. Now I'm going to go straight into it. My day consists of Having a, a little bit of a Domino's page on the start of the day, you know what I mean? Got to. Um, had a pint and stuff before the game got there. Uh, first half, it was, you could just tell it's conference uh, football. We didn't have a single shot. Um, they go on and score. Uh, basically, we did have not, well, did not have, we didn't have a shot whatsoever. Uh, we played absolutely shit. It was like watching a Sunday League team. Um, it was quite embarrassing to be fair. Like, we've, I watched them since two seasons in League One before they got relegated from League One. So I can't remember how many years that is. But basically, boys, we are absolutely dire. Second half comes. We have about two good chances. Resource comes on, absolutely smashes it. Has another chance, hits the uh, post, I think it does. Patrick Amond, you can't put a player up there by himself. He's not one of those players. Now, it is currently the 7th of August. We played on the 5th. I know it took us a couple of days to do it. Um, but basically, boys... The team is not up for us. Now, I think with the conference, you got a plus side of you can sign whenever you want, but that means you can sell in the transfer window. So there's still time in this transfer window for a month ago because people are going to be going in for him. Then you've got January and then you know what I mean the next season. Now, he's there to support the team and stuff like that. I even said that, but the way we are playing, and I know it's only the first game and I know I'm not like this, but it was just shit. Now, we didn't, at the end of the game, we booed. Now, I don't know if the manager took that as a heartfelt boo. It wasn't towards him, it was towards the referee and the officiating because, my God, it was bad. Basically, you could kill someone, shoot the family, fucking 50 50 them, and you'd still get away with a warning. He did not show a single card that game, the referee. The referee was looked, he was a bairn. Mate, he looked my age. I looked older than him. Um, it was just horrible to watch the amount of offsides. The goal for one for Dover was offside. I'm just going to say it now totally off offside, pure piss take. Um, we had a couple of chances where we got fouled. Now it happened. Uh, fair play because uh, one of our players, uh, Hawkins, handballed the ball about three times. Uh, their players handballed the ball. It was just left, right, and centre. Uh, it was just shocking officiating. Now, if this is going to be continuous, Till um, April and that next year, then my god, I am going to be in for summer. My god, I've just been in hospital yesterday because of my asthma and stuff like that. So if it keeps continuing that way, I'll probably be in hospital again. It wasn't because of that, post wasn't because of that, it was because of someone else. Um, but basically, boys, it's been a heartfelt thing. Now, next week, we're against um, Maidenhead, I think. Don't correct us, we're on TV, half 12, um, BT Sport. <laughs> Unfortunately. I can't I can't even go to the game, which is in Manchester. Um oh no, Maidenheads on Tuesday, I think. I can't remember where we're playing, uh Saturday. Um yeah, I think we've got Maidenhead tomorrow. But uh Saturday we're playing some team. Uh basically uh I'm like away for the weekend because I've got a girlfriend straight up. Uh she's taking us away for the weekend, so and she said I said oh, I was a pub so I can go to the game. She said we've got something planned at that time. I wanted to knock her out, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um but if we lose, then I'll probably be glad that I've missed it. But if we don't lose, then happy days. Now, I'm wishing that because I'm not watching it, uh, there are on TV that we win. Um, and I hope we do win. Now, what I said to everyone, like mates and stuff, and what I'm going to say to you is now, is I'll take that defeat on the opening day for the players to look at themselves and go, yeah, you know what? We're too big for our boots. Hashtag Stormzy. Uh, we're too big for the boots. We're just going to play like we are. Don't underestimate the team in the conference. Don't underestimate the team in 
any league, I'm telling you now. Until you get to a league where you're not even playing professionally and you're not getting paid and you get up on a morning after being on the drink, i.e. Sunday League or under-19s, whatever, then you can underestimate people. Don't underestimate anyone in the professional league because anything could happen. Now, I'm not underestimating any team in this league whatsoever. Um, anyone can slip up. It's like it's like the Premier League. I'm talking, like The team's... I like that, where it's like you got the best and you got the shittest, but anything can happen. <laughs> the football is nowhere near Premier League standard because it's conference, obviously, not in the league. But um, I'm going to be on my phone if I, if this thing that we're doing is allowing me to go on my phone at the same time. And I'll be on my phone checking the score. I am praying that we win on Tuesday. I am praying that we win on Saturday. And out of the first five games, I'll take a loss, a draw, and three wins, because that would ease my heart, ease my chest, ease everything about me, uh, I never bet on pills, I never have, I only bet on the teams around it, I betted on Leighton Orient this weekend, they had an accumulator, I think uh, eight of the teams, I put an accumulator of eight fold, six of the teams went through, Leighton Orient let me down, and another team let me down for 864 quid or 50 pence, boys, that's betting, welcome to being 18, so I'm two weeks, and I'm two weeks. I'm uh, 19 in two weeks. I'll probs be going to uh, an away game, but if I do, I'll vlog it. I'll set years. I'll vlog it. I didn't vlog it on Saturday because, to be fair, it, I, I haven't really got used to it, but I'll try my best to, you know, like vlog and stuff like that. If I don't vlog, I'll be doing these, and I'm going to start doing these every Saturday. I know there's other YouTubers, I, True Joy, and I can't name anyone off the bat, but you probably know any because I'm not really a person who looks on YouTube, but you probably know stuff. Um, and I'm not turning this into a true joy thing, but I'm going to turn this into a Hypeville thing. So if you're a Hypeville spotter, stick with us. Um, if you're a Rangers spotter, stick with us. I'm going to try my best to watch some Rangers games. Now I know he's had a game against Motherwell the other day, and he's won 2-1. Uh, Trevor Carson playing for Motherwell. Didn't really have a chance. Graham Doran's getting two goals. Brilliant. I was watching the highlights while I was in hospital yesterday, so good thing I was in hospital to watch the highlights. Um, but yeah, boys, this is what I think of the Hypeville game against Dover. No, we've got a game on Tuesday and we've got a game on Saturday. I think it's main head Tuesday. Um, I, really, I haven't really got a wish. Wish, I wish. I wish I brought the fixtures list up with me. Um, but I haven't. <laughs> but boys, that's it. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm going to leave my Twitter and my Facebook. And you can just go on there. Hit us up on that. Um, I'm going to start a page. Uh, Cut the HD page after this video. If you do want to see a Facebook page of me. Let me know, put us in the comments, hit us up on Twitter. But I'll put uh I'll do an event, uh a Facebook page if I get a good enough response. So let me know what you think and I'll do that because then you can interact with me and stuff on there. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all in your videos, boys. In a bit.